Uh, we met at work in Bangkok. We taught the same class. Actually, we split the class in half. We were co-workers for a very long time. We didn't really like each other at first. Uh, she thought I was too cocky. I thought she was too Indian. I kept telling her, I'm never, I'm never gonna marry an Indian. She kept saying, I'm never gonna marry a Western, uh, Eastern European. And here we are today in India. I'm getting ready to marry the love of my life. So when I met him, I thought he was boring because he was always working, right? Yeah. He was into archery and he was writing and publishing. I thought the, I thought he was a very boring guy. I thought he didn't have a life. And um, we were very different. I'd like to wish them every success in their life as well as God, we pray to God to bless them always, to keep them happy. Listen what Bible says. Love is an interesting thing. Says many water cannot quench the love, neither can the flood drown. If a man would give all the substance of his house for the love, it would utterly be contempt. It was ordained that the offspring of such a union having a sense of belonging and set it the natural surrounding of a family might be brought up into the fear and admonish of the Lord. Into this state, these two persons have been joined and become one law to be blessed in the presence of friends and family and all the participants. This is the most significant part of the service of, the, of both of you are about to make an unconditional commitment to an imperfect person. The vows you make before God and before the congregation is the important people in your life demand close attention. Before you lies a future with its joys and its sorrows, its hopes and disappointments, its success and failures, its pleasures and pain. These elements are common to men and to be expected, but for the believer that they are not to be received with recognition, but with fortitude, hope, joy, as you both yield to the Lord seat of Christ Jesus and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Miknia, you have taken Upasana to be your lawful wedded wife, to live together according to the God's holy law in the presence of the Holy God. Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor her, protect her in sickness, 
and in health and forsaking all others be faithful only to her so long as you both shall alive. Thank you. Upasana, you have taken Misna to be your lawful wedded husband. To live together according to the Holy God's law in the holy state of matrimony, do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor him, submit to himself in sickness and in health and forsaking all other to faithful only to him so long as you both shall live? I do. Thank you. Let us as a congregation now take a moment in silent prayer for Miknia and Upasana as they pray prepared to make their wedding vows as a holy covenant in front of living God and in front of all you participants. For a moment, shall I request every one of you close your eyes and have a small personal prayer. Amen. The couple has written their own vows for each other. I request Miknia to please begin with his vows to Upasana. Upasana, as your husband, I promise to protect you and provide for you. I promise to offer you your spiritual, emotional and financial security. I also promise to do the dishes, take out the trash, sweep the floor, sometimes, and carry all your shopping bags. Upashna, as your friend, I promise to be there for you when you need me to decide the best color for your dress. I promise to eat all the food you cook, no matter what. Upashna, I promise never to go to bed or leave the house angry. I promise to always pray with, pray with you and abide by the laws of God. Upashna, you may now read your thoughts to Miknia. Miknia, once again we stand before God family and friends committing our marriage to God and each other. I pray to God to lead me to His choice. I thank God for He has fulfilled His will. I promise today and always to share my life with you. With God's plans for our lives together, united in us, to be a loving helpmate to you with God's help and strength, seeking always no matter what trials we may face, in sickness and in health, in joy and in pain until death do us part. I promise to grow old alongside you and become become wrinkled, <laughs> grey-haired and crazy with you. I promise to listen to you always and stand as your best friend. I promise to be your best friend forever, BFF. I commit to you this day. All that I have, all my love, and I pledge to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Miknia and Upasna, what tokens do you give each other as a sign of the covenant of your marriage? These wedding rings are the outward and visible signs of the marriage of unending love and purity of faith, signifying to the all the uniting of Miknia and Upasana in holy matrimony. Shall we pray before they exchange the wedding ring? I request the congregation, shall we close our eyes and I'll ask the blessing over the wedding ring. Let's pray. Our heavenly, mighty, loving Father, as we present this man and this woman in front of you, in the presence of the Holy God, in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Father God, these rings have no beginning and no ending. We pray that there may be the love and the bond which knows no ending. Bless the giving and receiving of these rings in the name of Will Jesus Christ, our Lord. You, Amen. Miknia, please repeat after me. Upasana is token and place of our constant faith and abiding love. With this thing I be, I be well. 
with my body I be honored. All that I am I give to you. All that I have I share with you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Upasana. Please repeat after me. Mithnia in token and place of our constant faith and abiding love. With this ring I do wed. With my body I do honor. All that I am I give to you. All that I have I share with you. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mikriya and Upasana have consented in holy matrimony. They are now here to be blessed before God and before the congregation, and have pledged their faith to one another by the vow they have made. This is a holy covenant that God has given us to fulfill through the holy matrimony. This they have declared by the joining of hands and exchanging rings. I therefore bless their marriage in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Those therefore whom God has joined together, let no man separate. This is the word of the living God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. You may now lift the veil. This day now we stood the test of time, living the promise of our vow. Mikhnia and Upasana, you stand before us as individuals, redeemed through the Jesus blood. I charge you and require you both to remember this day and the most sacred day in your life. Hand in hand, you intermarriage, hand in hand, you step out by faith. The hand you freely give to each other is both the strongest and the most tender part of your body. In the, uh, in the years ahead, you will need both strength and tenderness. Be firm in your commitment. Don't let your grief become weak. And yet, be flexible as you go through changes. Don't let your hold become intolerable. Also remember that you don't walk with this part alone. Don't be afraid to reach out of others when together you face difficulty. Other hands are there, friends, families, church, communities, to accept an unaltered hand in not an admission of failure, but act of faith. But above all, it is into the hands of God in Jesus Christ that we commit this union to husband and wife. God is joining you together today. He will seal you with the holy covenant of marital life. Thus, you will be instructed of His will and purpose of yourself and for others. Remember, your love is not your own. It is from God, a garbage implanted within you to which you in freedom have joyously responded. No, he will create out of your love something which did not exist before. A holy marriage. Marriage is more than your love for each other. It is God's holy ordinance. It is his plan. By the will of God, today you become one flesh in front of the living God. God is also ordained marriage that the offspring of such a union, having a sense of belonging, and set in the natural surrounding of a family, might be brought up into the fear and admonition of the living God. It is your purpose to establish a godly 
family in this world as a minister of heavenly Christ centered where morning and evening holy angel will be your guest in your small little family will you endeavor to build such a home bride and rooms thank you may i request the immediate family to stand the parents siblings and their spouses of miknia and upasna to please stand this occasion is a special celebration for the parents and the family who has brought these children into the world and nurtured them into adulthood today you are witnessing another stage in the life of your son and daughter you brother and sister you are continuing support for this newly wedded couple will be needed as miknia and upasna bring their marriage life will you do your best with the greatest love and wisdom to support this new couple and help them in every way thank you i now invite the mother of the groom and the parents of the bride to come forward as the couple honors them with small token of love we will have a small sand pouring ceremony the pouring of the two different colors sand together is used to symbolize the joining of the bride and groom or the joining of their family Shall we pray? In this moment, I request the congregation to close your eyes, and will I ask your special blessings upon the newly wedded couples, and then after the benediction, we will close the wedding ceremony. Shall we pray? Our merciful heavenly Father, this wonderful marriage occasion, we invite you in our heart, especially Father, this moment. We submit this newly wedded couple in your mighty hand. As they start a newly wedding family, they need every and each day your guidance, your support, and we pray, Father, that you will lead throughout their life. And we believe there is a hope in heaven. The day is coming. Jesus, He loves the people of this world as husband and wife love each other. And we are waiting for the great day. In the heavenly mansion, that you have prepared a place that you are waiting for every one of us. Father, this moment I pray especially for the Miknia and Lupasna. Satan may tempt them in their life, bring so many kinds of temptation, troubles, so many kinds of misunderstanding in their marital life. But Father, in the moment of strong, you will help them to stand firm. With the time of financial crisis, health, all kinds of troubles comes. Please be with them, Father, and guide them at that moment. Father, as you are going to end the wedding ceremony, I pray for the Mignias and his family, Upasalas and his family, friends, relatives, well wishers, as we depart from this witness ground and we go to our own destiny. Please be with us and please be with them. And Father, as we have come from Darjeeling, Europe, Romania, as we have brought us safely for the purpose, as we go back, Father, the same care and taking hands will be guided in our shelter. 
Father God, this moment, I pray all the blessings in your wonderful name, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us all rise as to receive the benediction and bring this service to close. Should I request the congregation to stand as you are going to ask the benediction upon newly wedded couple and for everyone is of you. May the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God Father and fellowship of communion of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore for the newly wedded couple and for all the congregation. Amen. Amen. As the couple now make their way out, I request their immediate family to join them as they take some photos. There will be one group photos after which I request you all to please make your way down to the pavilion banquet, banquet hall. The user will guide you. The couple will join us shortly when they finish their photos. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my privilege to pronounce today Mr. and Mrs. Simada.
given their time and this wedding sermon that we are having. And a big thanks to my parents, to my family, to Mikhail's family who are here. So we, we, we hope you will stay and bear with us as we go through the little ceremonies that we have. And hope you can stay until we can dance. <laughs> we Wow, after such a speech, what can I say? We have plans for the future. We're planning to move on, uh, build a family, and I hope we can share everything together in your blessing. Thank you so much. I found